Road to Kona, welcome back everybody. Well, the countdown truly has begun. There are no more big races that are gonna be sort of telltale signs about how the athletes are preparing, whether they're fit or not. Collins Cup was just over a week ago and clearly Daniela Reef and Christian Blumenfeld are showing that they are on top of their game. For, for Daniela, it's probably even sweeter than anybody else because she had struggled last year at the Collins Cup, was sick, didn't have a good race didn't show her potential. This year, she showed that she is just on top of it. Next fastest time was two minutes slower, Ashley Gentle. Gold medalist, Flora Duffy, seven minutes slower than Daniela Reef. But most telling was that some of the Ironman folks who actually have a chance of doing something there, Laura Phillip and Anna Haug were five minutes slower than Daniela at the Collins Cup. Clearly, she's ticking off the boxes. She's showing that she's ready. I can't wait to see her at the start line in October. For the men, Christian Blumenfeld clearly showing that he's on form. He is ready. He's fired. Uh, Gustav Eden had the second fastest time at the Collins Cup, two minutes slower than, than Christian had his fellow countrymen. Three minutes slower, Lionel Sanders, who, by the way, had the most exciting race of any of the matchups there at the Collins Cup. He and Sam Long, as probably many of you saw, coming down to the last moments of the run, Lionel out sprinting Sam Long, beating him by literally two seconds. Very, very, very exciting. Anyway, the, the most telling uh, or interesting uh, result from that was that Patrick Longa was 17 minutes slower than Christian Blumenfeld. That's a big gap. Is he going to be able to go to Kona and prove once again that he's one of the best? We'll see. We'll see. A couple more weeks to go and, and we'll all be there. The side note to all of this is that Alistair Brownlee has qualified and is going to be racing in Kona. Clearly he's passed his injuries, he's fit, he qualified uh, in, in Sweden and his time was 7.38, seven hours, 38 minutes. He ran a 2.40 uh, and change marathon. He's gonna be a factor. It's heating up, I can't wait. Road to Kona everybody, here we go.